Good morning. God bless you. Greetings each and every one of you wonderful people. Let me go right to work here. I want to go to a couple of letters that we got from uh, YouTube. Praise God. And I hear you all say this, this, what we're going to do. I hear you all say this often. It, it been said to me, you can't take the scripture literally. You cannot take the scripture literally. You can't read like it's no newspaper. And they give an example to show that they are fool. They say, well, Jesus said, cut your hand off and pluck your eye out. Jesus said, cut your hand off and pluck your eye out. He said, if your hand offend you, your right hand and right eye offend you, pluck it out and cut it and cut it off. What else did he say? Jesus went on to explain what he meant. He didn't look at all the woman to lust after her, have already committed the adultery in his heart. Read that in Matthew chapter 5. Now you read that. He said, don't commit adultery in your heart. And if a dudge go offend you, stop committing a dudge. That's what he was saying. And I, I get it. I have got, they don't say too much, the, the, the people I'm in close contact with in person, they don't say too much to me now. My God, they roll their eyes and shy away and don't have to speak to me. And say we, I'm, I'm, we go. Can we sit out and talk sometime? And I say, let me know when. If they never let me know, <clears throat> now, Corinthians two fourteen. They just, and I'm going to read Corinthians two fourteen. Then I'm going to read the read the letter. It has been said also. But see, you have to bag up. Yeah, 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 yeah. To 211. Well, 210. But God had, we, I, I tell you what, back up to 2. Read the whole chapter two. Let's see what you're going And I, brethren, when I came to you, I came down with excellent speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. That's why I declared you testimony of God. But I determined not to know anything about you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. That's what I know. Jesus Christ and him crucified. I know that. I may not know Algebra and trigonometry. Uh, I may not know how to build a rocket ship or be a neuroscientist. I may not know how to be a medical doctor. <laughs> you see, but I do know this uh, the testimony of Jesus Christ, declaring Jesus Christ. Now that's what I know. Watch it. Say, Jesus Christ here crucified. I will whip you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my prelude was not the entire word of man with him, but a demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. In the wisdom of men. Man, man with his knowledge. Man, 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 in man knowledge is not the knowledge of God. Man knowledge goes against the knowledge of God. But in the power of God. 
How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? You say ain't nobody perfect, you don't have you don't need, you don't have no wisdom. You say you need, you need an interpreter for scripture, you don't have no wisdom, and you're not perfect. Yet, not the wisdom of this world. You know the wisdom of the world don't speak this. The wisdom of the world don't speak this. And read on down. But let me, let me, keep, keep, matter of fact, let me show you, let me show you. I'm going to show you. How be we speak, verse 6, how be we speak with the mother that I pray with? Yet, not the wisdom of the world, nor the princes of the world, that will come to know. You speak a trade of Jesus Christ. You come to know. Your word coming to know. Your word coming to the end. You, 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 you think you some and lift it up in pride, your word coming to the end. With none other princes, of, let me just back up in the book of Acts. The same, same one was told to let the apostles alone. For if it be not of God what they preached, it's going to come to know. And they gave an example of a fellow. That was speaking about himself. And he and so many men were destroyed. Now, verse 8, with none of the princes of the world knew, for if they had knew, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. The princes of the world crucified the Lord of glory. Who were the princes of the world? Scribe, Pharisee, hypocrite, Sadducee, so on and so forth. Your pastor. All right, come on, come on. Watch this. As it is written, I have not seen him, I have not heard, neither into the heart of man. The good thing with heart, God have prepared for them that love him. You heard that scripture before, and people lie about that scripture. They didn't go to show what, they didn't read what the, what the, what the thing was that God had prepared. It is not a brand new car and houses and land and a whole lot of money. Read what it is. Verse 10. But God had revealed them to us by the Spirit. For the Spirit knoweth all things, yea, the deep things of God. But he revealed them to us. What, what, for what man knoweth the things of, things of, the things of a man, say the Spirit of a man, which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the thing which are freely given to us by God, which thing we also we speak, not in words which man wisdom teaches, but with the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual thing with spiritual. We talk about spiritual thing. We ain't talking about no natural thing. That's the eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. We talk about spiritual things, not natural things. But the natural man, by God, receiving not the things of the Spirit of God. The bad thing, no, natural man don't receive the things of the Spirit of God. Natural man don't receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. The natural man say, well, keep the law, bring tithes and offering. So a seed. It foolishes under him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually designed. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judges no man. The can't no natural man judge, no, judge you if you're spiritual. If you in here, they can't judge you. If you live in this, if you teach in this, they can't judge you. It ain't nothing they can say. If you live in this and teach in this, the gospel, the New Testament. Verse 15. But he was spirit judged all things, yet he himself is judged no man. For who had known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? How you gonna instruct Christ, you big dummy? How you gonna tell Christ, Christ, you didn't know what you were talking about? God, you didn't know what you were talking about. God, you didn't mean what you were saying, but you said, God, you a lie. Christ, you a lie. You fool, you. Who knows the mind, of the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? 
what we have about the Christ. Now, how you going to instruct the Lord? Well, the Lord didn't be what he said. Also, you trying to instruct him now. Let me, let me, I, I did all that. I get received a couple of letters from YouTube. Here's one here. And I'm going to put the letters in the comment section of the video, okay? This come from, I'm not going to call his name, because I'm, I'm some I ignorant and don't know, so I don't want to put them out there. He said, first time watching you, watch, now watch this, you are speaking the truth, but you lack interpretation, Holy Spirit. How's I speaking the truth, but I lack the Holy Spirit, or I lack interpretation. If I'm not speaking the truth, if I'm speaking the truth, what what do I need interpretation for? Let me, let me go read. Gregory 2.14, that's why I went on read that, read that. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are bruised unto him, nor, nor can he know him because they are spirits in his own. Now hear what I wrote here. I say, so you don't believe the scripture. You believe lying interpretation that say something different from what scripture said. Let me help you. Interpretation don't have a different meaning from what is from what is said. Example: Interpret apple. If you say it's a fruit, it's still an apple. Number one, you interpret language. And tongues and dreams according to scripture. But you don't interpret God's word. He said what he meant. Remember Philip in the unit? Say, understand what I read. How can I say somebody got me? Philip didn't go to run off out of his head. Philip read to him the scripture. And Philip stayed in the scripture and preached Christ. Read verses you don't read and go to verse 16. So you know God mind. You don't have the mind of Christ. If you did, you would say God, Christ, scriptures are correct. Jesus Christ says, search the scripture, not seek interpretation. Mister, you must say what scripture say, nothing else. Okay. I had another one. If they said, first time watching you, first time, I subbed on the first watch. I don't know what sub mean. Now I need to interpretate sub. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I just love you admonishing everybody to study for yourself. Best message ever. Thanks so much. Someone asked me what I thought of Gino Jenny. I always try to save myself a little, a little annoyance. So I always look up the name of the people I have not heard of. Father by false teacher always comes up with something to see. This was great. I wish I had the video proving what he said, but the message of studying yourself is priceless. God bless you. The word be where it said. No interpretation needed. God word be where it said. It was a hanging right on the wall. And somebody needs to interpret that. And uh, Daniel, he interpreted the hanging right on the wall. It didn't take away from the meeting. He just interpreted the language. Woo. All right. My God today. Interpretation. You are to your interpret those scriptures. You believe the scripture. And you obey the scripture. Thank you for doing it.